Hey guys, I finally got a rifle in that I've been waiting a very long time. I ordered this rifle back in September and it is March 1st and I got the rifle in hand now. So I'm super excited about it. This is a CZ 457 with the, the Boyd stock on it. Um, but they come with these kind of goofy dovetails on here for scope mounting and I want to be kind of modular with all my scopes. So I've settled on a uh, Picatinny, obviously. And the, so I need an adapter. And what I did is I went to DI Products um, and got their um, scope rail. So you can see there, it's their CZ19079 from uh, Diversified Innovative Products. And this is super simple. Basically, it has a dovetail uh, that matches the receiver machined into the bottom. And then it has a Picatinny on the top. Four screw holes aligned with these four pre-drilled divots in the factory CZ receiver. Um, all you need to install it is um, an Allen head wrench, or here. Uh, it looks like it's 5 64ths. Um, so I am going to use this fix-it stick. Uh, this is their universal kit here. So it has an all-in-one driver that just is kind of spring-loaded that you run down. Uh, the installation instructions for this say 7 8 inch pounds. So you see the first graduation here is 15 inch pounds. So I'm just going to kind of shoot for the middle. Not a, not a precise exact science, but at 7 to 8 inch pounds, most torque wrenches are kind of uh, in the weeds down there anyways. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I am using blue Loctite. Now this is not correct. The instructions say to use purple Loctite. And uh, the owner of the company explained to me that Blue was meant for larger fasteners. Purple was meant for the smaller fasteners. I don't have purple, um, so I'm gonna wing it with the blue, but if you're doing this, you should get purple. So basically all you do, super simple, slide it on the rail. We're going to align the screw holes, which is really easy because the ejection port lines up almost perfectly there. And then I'm literally just gonna take some blue Loctite. I'm gonna get the fastener. It's like a, like a set screw basically. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue on there and then I'm going to thread them in and then I'm going to get them all started just a little bit and then I'll torque them all at once and that way they kind of find their homes but uh, I've got some other products from DIP that I'm going to put on this rifle as well uh, one of them is an extended mag release and a bolt knob I will do separate videos for those when I get to those. So stay tuned for that. And then once I get this all mounted, all it's a matter of just simply putting a scope on that I've already got going and the spacing should be right and everything. So I should just be able to slap it on, adjust the stock for my fitment and just kind of go from there. So it should be a nice modular system. I'm going to bench it with an Athlon Optics um, Midas Tech. That's kind of my testing scope because I know it's a, it's a known quantity. And then for actual long-term use, I will see what uh, scope I'm gonna use. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so when you're using this fix-it sticks, you basically just, you gotta get it where you can see the graduation. So I'm gonna put it probably like that so I can see the, the graduated marks there and I'm just gonna literally turn it until I get about halfway there we go halfway I'm gonna go front to back here halfway I like doing it kind of like when you do a lug nuts on a on a tire you know kind of going star pattern or kind of crisscross that's just me, but I don't think there's really a rhyme or reason to it. Okay. It is as simple as that with the Fix-It Sticks and the DI Products um, scope rail on the CZ457 with the uh, Boyd stock. But this applies to all 457s. 